go. Are we live? We are live. Ah, I forgot to do something. Jabrazar, can I do this here? No, I cannot. Well, if I'm getting a phone call, this might be bad. If everything's bad, it's bad. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Instead, we will say hello. We're back with stream check, mic check, stream check, very good. I'm feeling very peppy because I want to get this good. I want to get this good because, you know, this is something I've been working on for the longest time. And you know what? If this works, it works. If it doesn't, well, I guess that's really bad. Ah, <sighs> what's changed since last time in this? Well, we got a nice green background. Um, my setup is a little more stable. Unstable, sorry. So, because of this, camera stands on a blanket, essentially. So, very well, this thing can slide off and you'll just see a boy in a lab coat sitting on a skateboard bed. Don't worry about it. But, yes, I wanted to keep doing this because last time it failed bad. Everything backfired, everything malfunctioned. The internet died, the camera died, the phone died, yeah. Internet died, camera died. I'm not even showing fingers. Internet died, f camera died, phone won't reconnect, phone camera won't reconnect, and so, and things only lasted for an hour. So I figured, you know, I need to give this a second shot. I need to do, give this a second shot, and I thought, you know, this is fun. This is, this is fun to do. And I had the setup on me, so let's do it while we can. So I think what I want to start off first is with a little warm up. Uh, as a review of what I've previously said, or how we're gonna do this challenge, per se, is... ...is simple. You know, all I need to do is learn two card tricks. I am not really one who's... ...who's really played, well, who's really dealt in the realm of magic and trickery. I'm more of... I'm just a general... general gamer! A general gamer. Not having to do with PC, but... You know, I know how to sh standardly shuffle a deck. <sighs> it's one go gonna be one of those days! Gonna be one of those days. But yeah, I know approximately. R retake that. I know how to, you know, shuffle a deck. There we go. Know how to work my way around a deck. Know how to win a game. But in the realms of cheating and... Uh, cheating and whatnots. I am not quite so experienced or skilled at doing. Well, that's what we're doing today. We are changing that. So, the first trick I wanted to do is slanted. It is slanted. Okay, whatever. I think it should be fine. It should be fine. You have enough space, whatever. It might be unbalanced, might be uneven. Don't worry about it. All you see is a green surface. Okay, so the first trick I wanted to do was back here. Um, yeah, this is a review of a trick I did previously, and I figured it was worth doing. Uh, let's see here. Just to prove this is a regular deck of cards, no jokers. You know, you have to go through the whole magician shtick. I think I did say that I liked magic back in the day. Well, you know, magic amused me. Occasionally, you'd click on the YouTube videos that are like, Behind the magic tricks! And it would be like, really cool! Ah, oh, but let's get this three, and let's get this, um... Let's get another three, just to make it even. Or fine, I'll get twos, because those are the easiest ones to get as well. Okay, we'll make this easy. And as I said, this deck was was made for my destruction, so I can bend it as much as it hurts my my tabletop camera's pride. Okay, let's pull this off. This will be our warm-up. This is the trick we learned last time before things went down. That is a piece of white thread. Okay. Anyways, we'll get this set up. And, you know, I guess learn about how my setup works. There we go. Uh, but, let's go back to the game. Back to the game, we've got... Where is my mouse? There we go. Back to the game, we'll look at it from how the perspective do does it, and then we'll do it ourselves! Okay. 
Here we go. So our first trick here is with our friend Arenio. We've done this before, so we can do this quickly. This is the first trick I managed to learn on, well, last stream, but, you know, doing it again just to prove that. Ooh, wait, if I click, I know the trick. I know the trick. Okay, uh, let us practice. So here's how the trick works. So you have three cards. You flip over the two, center the queen. The queen's in the center. And then you will basically flip them. And then with a rhythm, you pick them up like this. And then burp, 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 burp. And then do a deliberate swap. And then you pick the wrong one, you fool! Okay, no, don't ever call anyone a fool. But that's how it works. But let's get this music up. Uh, let's get this music up. Is it heard? Is it audible? Uh, let's check the volume. Okay, hang on. Let's crank you up a touch. A little too much. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so shall we hop into in person? So we surmise that how we do this is... Hang on, let me just swap this back. Swap this back. Okay. So how we did this is like this. I need to find my stage, so sorry. Everything's repositioned. Here's how it goes. You had the king in the center, so follow the king, will you? We will put this face down, face down, and face down. Should mention I am a lefty. Hello. So I will be doing things left-handed mode. So, then you pick this up with your index, your middle and thumb, then pick this up with your index and thumb. You know, now I realize that doing this on a blanket was a terrible idea. <laughs> ah, I don't need to perform these well, I should say. This is my, f like, first asterisk time. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's bend these cards a little more. Okay, there we go. Pick these two up, like so. Like so, pick up the third, like so. Bend this a little more. Then you reveal, this is the king, everybody. Still the king. And then, you you put the, you're supposed to put the king seemingly in the middle, but instead you let go of your third finger to drop the one in the back. Then you cross over as a diversion. Let's move this here. I'm still figuring out my table space. Put that there and put that there. And then so they think that this is where this is where your thing is, this is where the other thing is. Then you do the swappy doos. Swappy doos. Which one's the which one? You're gonna hit her this one. And then it's jokes on you, it's not that one. It is in fact this one. There we go. So all in one swoop, shall we? And this is all just me. Just observing through the game, which is great. Bending the card still hurts. No matter who did think. Okay. So, one, two, three. First. Let's do this elegantly. No distractions. No explanations. Unless I have trouble picking up cards. Go. One. Two. Three. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Reveal. These are my cards. I feel like I have a tight, tighter space this time around. Okay. Now we will one, two, three. Swap, swap, and swap. You would think it's this card, but no, it is not. Instead, it is this card. Voila! 
Oh, I know why it's so zoomed out. Hang on, let me fix this. I know why it's so zoomed out. I was doing a... No, my zoom's at 100. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. This is as much table space as I could get. And I'm not jostling anything because... I'm not jostling anything because... Um, yeah, you're gonna lose this, lose it. Not too much at the very least. So, let's pull that right. Because I did it. That was one success. Well, that was yesterday's success. Last week's success. Very good. All that cleared within... 10 minutes. Very good. Very good. And that was our little warm-up round. A little three-card molt. Let me just... Let me just unbend the cards. Wait, this way? Yeah, unbend. Because we might do... Wait, we might be doing some card bending tricks. I Because I want to see how the card bending tricks works. Those are the ones that amuse me the most. The problem is that you can't... You can't really choose a spot and do like practice on certain strategies. Okay, so our next trick we want to do... This one I was kind of on the edge of learning before everything shut down. Was this trick. Let's do some tricks. Trick me! Oh, here we go. B, X, A. And the important thing is, you know, to form a rhythm just so things aren't easily spotted. Get people in a trance. There we go. Whoa, you fooled me. Okay. Now here's the one I wanted to do. We'll do I'm ready because I wanted to show this. Pick a card. And so we'll pick the king of clubs. Do we remember? Yes, it is. It's remember. Yeah, this is kind of the sad thing about it. About, well, a minor sad thing about this game. You can't really go back to parts that you wanted to do. I had to reload a save. Well, delete a save, reload it, and... There we go. Yep, that's it. We're good. Okay. So, here's how this this trick works. We were on the verge of solving this, but I never got to execute it on camera. So first we shuffle, and then you're gonna say, Sho Keep shuffling! What? You lost it, you fool. Okay. Okay, well, in jog, and I noted the way that he slided his thumb when he was doing it. So, let's work on this. Uh, let's get ourselves uh, an ace. Ace of... Ah, uh, let's go with the ace of spades. Ace of spades always. Thanks, bicycle. Uh, ace of spades as always, and the way we do this is we... Okay. We swap back. We swap back. Okay, nah, let's not. We shuffle once. And instead of dropping a clump like this, instead what we do is we make this guy pinch in. We hold the outer deck like this. Well, actually, you know what? Let's swap it back. Okay, here we go. We hold the outer deck like this. Or with your right hand, I guess, if you're you're one of those if you're one of those 90%. 90%? Is it still 90%? Or is that an old fact? And then you hold the other one like this. Wait a minute. I'm just putting the ace up. Okay, right. This is your pile, this is your thing. Okay, I should look where the camera is. And instead of clumping it, you use your thumb to pick up one. At least that's for one toss. And then instead, what we're going to do is in jog, slide your thumb out so that your card juts out. So I guess just so I could see myself, I do this thumb slide. This thumb slide. And then if you want to tap one, 
you slide one in or if you want to clump them like that and then with that you have your little your little behind there we go then you pick up the deck like that and then your ace will be on top done well part one done Okay, let's go back to you. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Great, we need to know where the ace is. This is where I want to see where the how the cutting works. Yeah, because this cut is weird. I don't know how he cuts the deck with the Injag card. Because the first one should be the ace, right? That's the thing I'm stuck on. Right, so here's our ace, here's the Injag card, and then here's the rest of the deck. So he's gonna, I guess, pick it up like this? I see. Okay, that's kind of rough. So the way you pick up the deck would be, you can't pick up any lower. You can't, oh, hey, yes, here we go, good. You can't pick up cards that are lower than the Injag card. Because you're going to put your thumb on the Ninja Dog card and pull out. Like that. It's rough, but I think that's the gist of it. Okay, let's do this in game. Yes, am I in game perspective? I am in game perspective. Very good. Let's put that there. This is much closer to me than I thought. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. There we go, and ace on top. Ah, oh, it's an ace, and nobody saw that coming. Uh, move on. Now, let's tap it. Okay. Okay. Uh, shuffle. Tap, tap, tap. In jug. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. This is the bare bones basic, which is why th this is a trick we kind of have to learn before we tackle on any of the big ones. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Now then. Okay. Well then. Ooh, which do we do first? The game or the cards? Well, we'll do the game, then cards, then game again. Okay, three this time. Uh, one, one, two, three, and draw, shuffer, shuffer, shuffer. There we go. Very good. It's diamonds, there we go. We will practice that again. Oh. Oh, wait, you only do this one. Okay, sure. We will now swap over to reality. The real side. It's time for us to execute this. Okay. Let's do this, just because I want a, like a nice visual and some accompanying music. So we'll play it first Ace's face up. Okay, we got the Ace of Spades, so the way we do this, we'll say we pick the number three. We'll pick three. So, here he goes. So this, one, one, two, in jog, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. That's out jog. I out jogged it. Hang on, let's do that again. Okay, here it goes. One. Okay. Two, three. In jug. Clump, clump. Oh, you can't really see me in jug. Clump, clump. There we go. You'll drop it like this. Pick up the deck. Fail to pick up the deck properly and. One, 
two, and three. Okay, there we go. Kinda there. Let's see if I could get a better view on camera, because this is... You can't really get the shuffle on. Okay. Where's my ace? Whatever. Ace of spades. There we go. Ace of spades. So. Ace of spades on top. We will drop. And then what number do we want? Let's say two. So we drop. 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 Inja. Wait, was that? Okay, I wasn't sure if I dropped more than one card. Drop in jog, clump, 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 clump. Okay, flat deck, pick up. I missed one and two. Okay, there we go. Now then, one more time for good measure. This time we will do a face down card and we will do a random card. Let's pick, let's pick. Why is this card off to the side? Okay, let's pick, uh... You know what? The game has Ace of Diamonds. Let's do some parallels. Ace of Diamonds, okay? Ace of Diamonds, and the Magician said he wanted four. So let's do four. So, we'll put four on the top of the deck, face down. Remember, this is their card. You want to marker it, put a Sharpie on it. If you want to marker it, put a Sharpie on it. Whatever. Okay, so we clump. Two, three, four. In Jack. Yeah, Jack. Cards sliding on top of each other in Jack. And one, two, three, four. Look, the purpose of this game is not that I'm fooling anybody. Purpose is that I know the trick and can do it at to a mediocre level. Put the deck approximately there. And what was it? One, two, three. Come on, four, we're good. Okay, that's it, second trick learned. Second trick learned, we're good. We have played a card game. And now I will never be invited to board game night ever again. Joke's on them, I'm the host. Okay, oh right, let's do this in game. Wah. Well, let's, let's put a deck here just so there's a nice centerpiece. And just so I know where general middle is. Okay, there we go. Shuffle that. And we've got... Want well, time to check? One, two, three, and four. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, no. Let's move on. Okay. And that will be it for, I guess, basic mode. But what other tricks do I want to do? The grand problem... I have, maybe I, no, I don't think I finished that sentence, is uh, you can't really jump to parts where, where you want, or you can't go to the practice areas. You can only practice once. So you're left to either observe what you're doing on the spot, or, or actually slowly work towards it. But I think the trick I want to do quit because I did all the tricks I wanted to do in this save file is honestly the first one. The first trick in the game. Watch this. I need some water. Did I get some water for myself? I did get some water. Anyways, our gambling death. Don't watch it if you don't want to. A little too late now, but wait, sorry. Wait, water. I have so much electronic related things here. If I spill this water, I'm done for. Yeah. Okay. We'll go. Well, it doesn't matter. Here's the trick. See if you can spot it. You pick up one. 
We pick up the king. We pick up a nine of clubs. We pick up the queen. And we pick up a jack. Did you see it? Did you see it? That is what we're doing. So oh, for those of you who don't have an eye, I'll, I'll spell it out. I'll spell it out. Here we go. This is the first trick of the game and isn't really shown anywhere. The first... Yeah, first what's noteworthy is... This. You're picking it up with your one hand and passing it to the next. He does this with all the rest of the cards. And here's where the trick comes in. Last to the right. Here we go. There you go. You catch that? Well, what we saw here is- oh, we can see this here. What we saw here was just a classic swap. Let's get four aces. One. I think camera's here. I'm getting used to the camera position, too. Three and... Four. And then we'll get four random cards. Uh, pick a number, any number. Let's do, eh, let's do some threes. Why not? Two threes. Two threes, a three, and a... Threes and a three. Okay. Here's how, here's how, here's what happened. It's fun to do. What happened was this. The good old ace is up the sleeve, or palmed. Palmed, or up the sleeve. My hand can't reach. Something like that. And... And a little... Well, a little reverse for these guys. I can't use sleeves. I am wearing a lab coat, because it is the best way to hide cards up your sleeve. Okay, so what happens is, he hides it in his sleeve, he reaches for the glass, he reaches for the glass across the counter, wait, I need to grab a glass, glass, and then hides the rest of the cards down his sleeve, and then, oh, and then he, ta, ta, he slides. Whoa. Ow. These cards are hurting me. Ah. And the, the threes are here. Okay, that's a hard one to look at. That's a hard one to look at. Okay, but I need to reach for something. Let's reach for this card. Okay, we'll reach this card and then we'll move it from point A to B. Shall we? So the way this trick goes is you have three threes up here. Let's say three threes. We pick one up. Look at it. Pass it. Oh. Actually, which one's this dunk? No, he's moving right to left. So we should... The well, I should say. Because I'm lefty, should pick up right left, right, to left, right, to left, right, to left. Cards, aces, up my sleeve, are similar, palm, tiny, small. These are it. We will also put these away. This is hard to see. Put these away. Reach for the card. 
as I'm reaching, I am pulling. Pulling, talking, sliding as distraction. One, two, three, four. Aces. Oh no. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's kind of rough, but space is kind of tight, so that's what I'm dealing with. Okay. I think we got that. I think we got that. So, let's quit the title. Let's see let's see this executed in game and then do this in real life. Okay. Oh, that was my mistake. Where is my mouse? Or be my cursor. There's my cursor. Let's transition back. There we go. Quit the title. Okay, that's quite. Okay. Oh wow, it's a Okay, new game. Ready? This will look less less thing than you ever think it shall. Less good. But you know what? Mediocre is the standard. <laughs> Put that on a wall somewhere, why don't we? Okay, here goes. Ah, oh, there are four face down cards. Pirate. <laughs> okay, we'll flip one. I don't know the buttons. This is using Xbox controls because of reasons. Okay. Oh no, we flip this flip with left, pass to right. Nope, I'm the opposite. Flip with right, pass to left. Okay, do it again. Flip with right, pass to left. Flip with right, pass to left. And flip with right, pass to left. I mean, if you want, I guess I can't hold it the same way he does like this, but that makes it hard to pass things along. Let's get these aces up my sleeve. Ah. Okay. Pass to left. Continue. There we go. A quick draw. That was a really quick draw. So now we quick draw ish ish wah and do you flip it? Oh no, you already flipped it. Okay. Ah, oops. Oops. I didn't actually know. Ah, uh, you could hit the home button. Switch home button. And then you flip it and it's all aces and your mind is blown. It's amazing. No one's ever conjured this conception before. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Okay, in person. Here we go. This is the in-person practice. Gamepad. Sure, we'll go the gambler. Okay, here we go. Let's do this right. Where'd my threes go? Oh, they're still in my sleeve. <laughs> my sleeves are so big that... Oi. Okay, here we go. So, let's see if we could pull this off. My dear player, it is zerper derper 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 derper. Right? Okay. So what's doing the passing? The right is doing the passing, the left is doing the picking up. So, okay. Wah. So like that. So thus, my right needs to pick this up. My dear player, something something three. Pass. Burr, 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 burr. Something, something, three. Pass. Burr, 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 burr. Three. Pass. 
Burp, 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 something that involves a two? Was that a two? No, three. What? Well, pass. Shove. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna do these trick, this trick, and I didn't even shove the aces. Ah. Okay, do this again. Okay. Pre preparation aces in sleeve. Aces in sleeve. Ooh, that's actually gonna be tougher now to grab things. I could flat hand this and be like, just crane machine pluck. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> We're aiming for mediocre here. Okay, here it goes. My dear player, did you hear of uh, the good number three? Okay, pass. Well then, let me tell you about how great the number three is. Pass. Okay. Hey, you can see the cards in my sleeve. <sighs> okay, but, you know, the great thing about number three is that it is a good number. Three. Da. Da. Okay, sure. And then my favorite earthbound play location in earthbound is Foresight. Yeah. Okay. And now I have this here. What what is this? I have a card I need to move from left to right. So I will now grab this. Pwa. I wish I could show this on camera better. But an ace just fell further down my sleeve. <laughs> ah, grab it! Ah. Sorry, this card is stuck to the table, despite it being a blanket. Wow. Okay, just gonna move that over there, and then one, two, three, four, ah, and then they're all ace. Aces and no cards are about to fall out of my left sleeve. <sighs> that count. I get the point. How far did you go up there, bud? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do that a little better. Let's do that a little better. That was not to my satisfaction. Hang on. Here we go. Ah. Okay, so we have our threes here. We'll put our aces up our sleeves. Okay, there we go. Ah. Man, kids these days are never gonna know what the phrase an ace up your sleeve means because cars don't exist. Okay, my dear player. Have you ever heard of cards? They're great. Look at this. This is a card. And so is this. This is a card. But what's this? This, my dear friends, is a card. And last but not least, you'll never guess what this is. It's a card. Okay. Oh, oops. Oh, <laughs> you can see my cards in my sleep. Okay. So now I guess I need to get that thing over there and move it over there. Okay, here I go and <laughs> reaching it. Can't shove this in my sleeve right now. Oh, oh wow, actually putting it on the table just helps because it puffs up the sleeves. Get that. Get this. Get... I only got two. I only got two. Where is it? It fell further down my sleeve. Get this! I'm just gonna move that! One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, they're all aces, okay? They're all aces. <sighs> this is just sad. Okay, one more time. I'll do that one more time. It's not to my level of desirable one. I'm digging way too deep in my sleeves. I have to may I have to dig in there and shove my entire hand. Okay, sleeve one. I feel like I need like a little pocket in there. Sleeve one. Sleeve two. We'll do this once more. 
Okay. Look at this. This is a three. This is a three. This is a three. Never forget your showmanship, everyone. Kind of the biggest part of magic tricks. Okay, this is a three. Oh, what's that? I need to pick up something over there. Wop, wop, wop. Okay, now I guess let's put these cards I have had in my hand the whole time and spread it across the table. <laughs> and did not use any means of hiding that. And then, but look at that. They're all aces. Yes! Okay, you know what? I'm taking that. I'm taking that. That was a good win. That was a good win. Oh! <gasps> okay! We did it. What have we learned today? We have learned... Well, we've proven that we've learned the three card mount. We've technically done the... We've technically done the... What's it called again? The... I mean, I guess, I don't know if it has a name. It probably does have a name and it's in the menu, but, uh, yeah. Oh, and move the six back. Uh, let's see here. I guess we'll do this all in-game and see how much, how much Contessent Germain does better than me. Picking a card! Ooh, look at that card. That's a nice card. He moves his arm so much. Actually, no, his right arm's pretty stiff. Yeah, he, has, he hasn't, like, rotated his wrists at all. In fact, he's more so using his right to pick up the card and then his left to scoop it. There we go, it's magic. You know. Okay, very good. Very, very good. And you know what? I think we have lasted longer than we did last stream, which is very good. Okay, but now it's time to learn some sort of trick. Hang on, I want to see if I could do manner. I don't know what the trick after manner is. Uh. It was the bent, it was the bent, the dog ear days. I, because I can do this, but like, eh. Okay, you know what? I'm, I don't know if I want to go to the barn and just try to learn something that's just very quick. Especially when I have to do QTEs. Or if I want to try to go down here and keep progressing through the game and, I'll keep progressing through the game, I guess. Okay, Baron Aster, dur, dur, uh, skip. Because I kind of want to try dog-eared, um, dog-eared card. That's one of the bendy ones that we've been doing. Okay, let's party. Let's party. Oh, what did we need to do? Because we can't do... Oh, we can't really serve alcohol here. That's three. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, one, two, three. Ah, Jappa! Okay, let's do this right. Wait, go fetch us more in the other room. Oh, what? okay, this is where it gets interesting because we get a dog ear card. Ace. Oh, I have to reverse, do it in reverse. We bend a card like that and then we pick it up. I do want to see if this is comes to fruition. Let's just go here. Uh, what's that? Three clubs? Three clubs. Three clubs. Here we go. Oh, no. There we go. 
Three globs, we're good. Stock more. What's that, two diamonds? Two diamonds. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, we can't do really table cleaning. Doesn't really mean much, but... I do want to try to dog your card. Okay, here it goes. The last one. Pour this out. Uh, three diamonds? Four diamonds, okay. One, two, three, four. And then we'll see what we learn next, and then we'll... We'll see if not, then I'll figure something out. Okay. Okay, because this is something I want to try. So let's get ourselves an ace. Let's not get the ace, because this, this is going to hurt the card a lot. Ace of hearts. Let's bend it. This hurts. There we go. It is bent to a considerable degree that I dislike. Okay. We bend it like that. Okay, there we- Okay, that is really bent! Okay. Let's swap over here. Let's swap back. Let's swap this back. Uh, can you see that? Is that visible? Well, you could see it wobbles. If we put the rest of the cards on top of it... Ah! It's gone! It's actually gone! Oh, okay, like this it's not. But, like, I guess it's because of the weight. It's because of the weight of things. There we go. So we have a deck like this. Oh, actually! Yeah, it's kind of popping up like there. Right there. You can see that. Oh, it's not even in front of the camera. You can see... Can you see that? Um, hang on, I'm waiting for a stream to load. Yeah, just that little gap there. And then you just go and it's going to be hard to do, but... Pull this. And the ace is there. It's hard to see, but... It works! Okay, let's unbend you. Unbend you. Unbend you before irreparable damage. Okay, there we go. Let's just crush you under the weight of a billion cards. Hoi! Hoi! Ah! Hoi! Okay, cool. Okay, good, good, good. Does that count as a trick? I count that as half a trick. It's neat, but, you know, there's my, there's my dog eared card. So yeah, it kind of has that same thing. Oh. There we go, like that! And you pick it off the bottom. Very good. Oh, hang on, I forgot to swap back. Let us swap back. Let's swap back. I'll, I'll count that as half a trick. Okay, but the real reason I wanted to do that is just to see... Well, we got the barn again. Ooh, we got Hoss- Ooh, what was in Hoss's? I can't remember the trick here. Okay, we'll see if we can do this trick, and then... And then... If we can't, then we'll, um... Okay. Get an early ace. We can't do this trick, we'll go to the barn. Okay, first we'll rehearse. So first we get an ace. Oh, <laughs> We palm it. Okay, so first we get an ace. Look at the way he palms this. With his thumb. Onto his palm. Then you shuffle, jump, okay, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, and that's how you get his ace. Oh, but then you have to shuffle back. That's an interesting one. 
Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So here's how this works. We'll get ourselves... No, you need more time to rest. I'm not bending you more. Um, we'll get Ace of Clubs. And then we'll get three other cards. Okay. So first we get our Ace. I'll swap this back. There we go. We want our music. So let's do this. So, we got our ace. Look at the way he's holding his cards. Like this. Double handed with that. So first the question is, how does he get this ace in the back? Does he just stack and collect? And then pull like that? I, I can't palm cards, my hands are too small. Well, let's see. Okay, there we go. Let's just fail this. Okay. So, we have our ace. Okay, this is our, this, we have our ace here. We put this on top. We put this on a stack. We pull this off. We... How do we do this? Okay. We have this here. We put this on a stack to our palm. We shove them here. We lift this and we throw them out. <laughs> this card is too big for my hands. Yeah. Well, I guess it's because you shouldn't be using your fingertips. Let's, I want to see if, cause yeah, his palming. I missed? No, his palming's kind of with his hand. Okay. Okay, so, we go back. Here we go, this is it. This is our ace, here we go. We shove this here, we tuck this in, and throw this out. Very good palm, very good palm. So we put the palm card here, we get the rest of the deck. We present this like this, so we put the ace on top. Okay, so we'll do a preliminary shuffle, I guess. And then, oh, 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 you could have seen that. I had it in my sleeve and then I pulled it out. I, I, I somehow pulled it out and shoved that there. It jumped to my hand, I swore. It was like a magician. Okay. And then we do, well, we do one, oh, oh wait, no, we do, hold it like this, one, and then you want this, so one, two, do I want to injug here? Yes, injug here, shuffle more. Now here's where the tricky part comes in. How do we get this injug card? So we get this injog card like this, put this like here, put this here, and now we distribute. So one, two, three. Very good. Oh, this is one. Okay, cool. Okay, that's simple enough. Right? Tap, tap, injog, there we go. So let's do this in game. And then, I, okay, I need to pay attention to how the shuffle works. Oh, but you shuffle it back. You shuffle it back up to the point of the in card. How does that work? How does that work? Tell me your secrets game. Sing to me, no. Okay, okay. Yes, run through it again. First you get the ace. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. First we get the ace. Put the ace on top. Palm it. Okay, this is what I want to see. First, 
You shuffle. Okay. Shuffle. Tap. In jog. Shuffle. Shuffle. Okay, so now you're grabbing it from where the Injog card is. You're grabbing it from where the Injog card is, so let's do this right. So, one tap, Injog. Injog that there. Yes. Injog, and then shove the clump in. Next, you are... Grabbing this. Okay, what happens here? What happened there? The thumb... The thumb... The third... Hang on, I need to parse that. Hang on, this is our ace, right? Okay. This is our injug card. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I need to parse that. Give me a second. Because how does he get that ice on top? Because I could just distribute it. Okay, first off, get the ace, put this on top. Okay, ace, this is as we practiced. Drop the rest. Okay, so now you're grabbing the clump from the injogged. You're separating you're separating the deck from what's injogged and what's not. So let's put the ace here. So it looks something a bit like this. You have your ace here. And you have the rest of the cards here. So now you one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then what? We drop the rest like this. This. But then what do we do with the back clump? Or do we drop all the back clump? Let's see. One, two. Okay, so you're clearing up front stack. Oh, and then you just drop the rest of the stack. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, okay. So, going over it. First you get your ace. You palm it. You do whatever is necessary. Oh, I, I should pay attention to how, um... You, he puts the ace back on top of it. Well, actually, no, I don't think that shows. He does this. Picks everything up from the Injog card. And shuffles it. Like so. And then drops the rest. Wonderful. Okay, now I do it. Now I do it. Okay. Remember, we're going for the most mediocre performance ever. We'll play it face up for now, and then we'll work on it later. The most mediocre performance. Here it goes. We'll get these five cards. These are our five cards. So, we will play it like this. We'll give this a hand shuffle, light hand shuffle. I'm not looking. Ace in the middle. Ace in the middle. So we do something like this. Palm it. Release. Palm is hand. Hand palm. Okay, cool. Now we get the deck. We get the deck. And then we give it a little sh... I dropped all my cards. Give me a second. What? At all? You're gonna see my head? Sure, that's fine. Okay, I think that is all of them. Okay, um, let's say... Okay, we pawned the card. Okay, we pawned the card. 
Next we- oh, not too far in my sleeve. Next we get the deck, we put the card there, card is on top. We'll put this face up just for measurement's sake, and then we will- Ooh, give me a number. Okay, you know what game? Give me a number. Actually, you know what? No, let's go back from the top. One, two, three, four, five. These are our five cards. Give this a little hand shovel. Okay. What is this card? Oh, that's the ace. That's awkward. It's, I want it on like the second, third, or fourth, just so it's harder to get. Okay. This is our thing. The ace is in the middle. Let us get our ace on top side. Done. Shuffle. Put this in a clump. Palm. Throw. Okay. Now we put- we play as usual, then we get the deck. <laughs> we get the deck, and then we... And then we work with the deck. There we go. Let's go back here. Let's pawn this. Very good. Oh, he's at the very end. Okay. We have our ace on the top. We'll flip that top side just so we have a visual indicator. We will hold the, hold the deck like this. Shuffle once. Tap three times. One, two, three. In jug. Shuffle the rest. Okay. Hang on, let's just make sure that in jug card sticks out. There we go. Pull it from the Inja card. No, we don't pull it from the Inja card. Ah, okay, hold up. Inja this card. Okay, so we have the cards like this. And then we pick up the deck like this. Like this. Ah, I see it creates a divide. Oh, this is so cool. It creates a divide. Okay, because you're pulling it from the Inja card. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's do this again. Do this again. Run the Inja card. Okay? Yes, we have the Inja card. My mind's being blown right now. Magic is amazing. I'm a little old to probably get well. No, you're never too old, but I don't know. Okay, so we have the Inja card like this from here. Yes, okay. Yes, this is the Inja card. Okay, right? Watch this. I'm gonna pick this up. I gotta pick this up with this hand. Wah! And then suddenly there's a gap. Let's fix that. Suddenly there's a gap because I picked it up from where the Inja card is. This back card is the Inja card and now I shovel like this. I shovel like this. I shovel like... Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm one short. A card fell from, from the center one too. And then we shovel like this, and then it is one, two, three. Oh wait, no, I did that right. I just thought it did. Okay, that's four. I messed that up. Do that again. That was some magic. That was some magic. <sighs> okay. So, we do this again. One. Oh, hang on. Yes, one. One, two, three. Yes. This gets in jogged, and then this gets shuffled in. Okay, very good. This is our in jog card right there. This is our in jog card. And so we pick pick up the deck like this. We, 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 we okay. Okay, here we go. We have the in jog card. We pick up the deck like this. We shuffle, 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 shuffle. Put this on top. And one, two, three, four. We did it. I'm so proud of me. Okay. But now we have to do it face down. Let's do it face down. Okay, we'll get our ace of clubs. We'll just go from the shuffling bit. We'll go from the shuffling bit. So we have our ace of clubs. We put this face down. We'll go four again. So one, two, three, 
four in jug. Ace of clubs, right? I said. We put this over here. Okay, we put this over here. We pick this. We pick this up. No, we don't pick it up like that. I still have the spot saved, I think. <sighs> okay. We pick it up from the side. We pick it up from the side. As to create a gap, we shuffle top side. Whoop. Whoop. We drop this there. And then one, two, three, four. We did it. Okay, but that is only two thirds of the trick. We have to do it from the start. Let's go back to the game. Tap, 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 and jog. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Pick it up from the side. He picks it up from the side and you can see the gap. Okay, hang on. You know what? I need to... I need you to... I need you to see this. Look at this. You can see the gap. There's the gap. It's right there. And so you shuffle all the non-gap. You shuffle the non-gap. Shuffle the non-gap and there's the gap. You shove it on top and then you deal the cards. It's amazing. Okay. Okay. I'll try it through once more. From the top. Let's go back to our setup. Okay, let's look at something nice. Okay. Here he goes. Oh, the ace of hearts is still at the bottom. Okay, uh... I'm sorry, Ace of Hearts. I didn't mean to bend you like that. Even even though this deck was meant for bending, still hurts. Still hurts. Okay, we got the Ace of Hearts, and we'll deal these other cards. None of these are aces, I'd hope. Okay, that's fine. In fact, you know, let's make it a face card, just so it's easier for everyone to see. Sure, Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll put the Jack of Diamonds in the fourth slot. Jack of Diamonds is in the fourth slot, so how do we arrange this? Well, we get that, put that on top, clump them, tuck it, toss it out. It's not gonna look good, but that's the best I got. Grab it, clump, oh, grab it, cl grab it, clump it, toss it out. Toss it out. Okay, the game continues. The deck is back. I'm dealing with the deck. Shove that in. Very subtly. Very slyly. How do I look on cam? Yeah, that was fairly subtle. Give myself credit for that. Okay, now we go. Oh, I don't know a number. I don't know a number. Give me a number! Let's use whatever number this game gives me. There we go. And then we... Okay, he is fourth. So, let's do that. So, first we drop. Okay. Okay, one... Two... Three... Wait. Yes, pick up three. This is the Injog. Yes, and then he'd pick up the fourth, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, that's how it works. Drop the rest of the cards here. Pick up the cards from the side so that there is a little gap. Then we proceed to do the shovel. One, two, three, ha, 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 ha. Drop the cards on, and here goes. One, two, three. What is it, Jack of Diamonds? Jack of Diamonds. We got it. We nailed it, everyone. We did it. Oh. Okay. We're learning. I'm not a magician, but this is great. The fact that I could just discern and, like, view subtle movements in just a game. Like, devs knew what they were doing. Devs knew what they were doing, and I like that. I like that. So much. Okay. So, let's do this here. Okay. 
Tap, 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 in jog. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, I kind of want to do that one more time with like the whole song and dance. Because that was cool. That was cool. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do it once more. I'll do it once more and then we'll go to the bar. Okay, we'll do this first. Okay, oh, once again he is fifth. Oh, did something disconnect? I don't believe so. Okay, here it goes. We will start with... Um, we'll start with a pile of cards. Pile of cards, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect! The Jack of Hearts, remember that? The Jack of Hearts right in the middle. So let us, you know, do a little fumbling. Fumbling, and then a discard. Then we get the cards back up, we put them back here, and we work our magic with the deck. Very good. I think. That looked good. Yeah, a little subtle slide. I like what I did. Okay, now we shuffle. One, one, two, three, in jug. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. There we go. Grab it from the side. Grab it from the side. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Put this on top. And one, two, three. Was it Jack of Hearts or Diamonds? It was a Red Jack. Uh, hearts. Okay, very, very good. <sighs> we kept that as a trick mastered. Cool. We did it. I'm leaving because I don't want to do everything here. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that- oh, that's a good one. Now, as I said, the problem is, in general, um, oh wait, do I have to? Okay. No. Okay, I want to leave first. Okay, let's um, let's go back to the game. Now the problem with this... No, I said this. <laughs> this is the third time I was about to say it. Uh, but... Wait. Okay, there we go. Welcome, you're back, boy. Okay, let us leave. I'm gonna do this and then leave. We don't have time. Although, what if the next trick's good? Okay, fine, we'll do this. Just, we'll do this quick. Okay, bet that. Oh, what's my difficulty level at? Okay, it's the easiest level, so I could, I could bet high. Look at that. Subtle as the hearts. Throw the cards out. One, tap, shuffle, and jog, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. This is the easiest difficulty, and that meter is still going fast. Okay. Twelve bottles of milk. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, it's locked. Shoot. I was going to get him for all he was worth. Okay. Okay, here we go. Tap, tap, in jog, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Grab the deck from the side, shuffle once more. Oh, this, yeah, doing these tricks in IRL just honestly lets me see this game in a great new light. It's amazing. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, we got ourselves the ace. Ugh. My wrist feels a little... A little irritated. Uh, shuffle that. 
Too, too many cards up there. There aren't supposed to be cards in there. Yes, okay, you'll do that. Yep, there we go. Sorry, bud. Ah, uh, the 12 bottles of milk. You know what? Oh, I can't auto mode this. Wow, what do I do? What do I do while I pass the time? Because I think the last trick's the last trick we're gonna do. If we even have time for it. Because we have like 15 minutes too. But there was. Yeah, what's that? Two and a half tricks? Well, okay. There is the one trick that was review, the other trick counted kind of as a half. Because it was. Because I technically could have done it last stream, but didn't do it because there was no camera. Uh, and then we did the four cards. Four cards in hand. Okay. I disagree. Okay. Okay, here's how this one works. Oh no, this is the choose- this is get an extra deck, isn't it? This is get an extra deck. Yeah, no. We can't do this one. Um... Can I leave? I don't think I can leave. Yeah, because otherwise I'd die. Yeah, this is point of no return. Ah, I can't go back to the bar. I can't go to the bar. I can't leave because it's a hostage situation. Ah, I can't leave. I want to go back to the bar. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's this one, and then you put... Was that? Was that two or three clubs? Yeah, I can't do this one. That's unfortunate. I can't skip. Uh, was it a jack? I wasn't... Jack of clubs? Club? Clubs? Nope, wrong value. Okay, it was the clubs. I wanna leave! I can't pause! Leave! I can't leave! Okay, you know, we'll, we'll leave the good old-fashioned way. We'll leave the good old-fashioned way by closing the game. Okay, there we go. And reopening the game. Okay, but... Maybe instead... Yeah. Instead, we got 10 minutes to spare. Maybe it's time I do a routine. Instead of going back and doing everything again. I mean, I've learned a lot. I mean, let me see if I could hop back in anywhere in the game. No, i just be from the manor. And then if I go here... Actually, can I go here? Technically, is the bar open? Ah, oh, the bar's not open! Okay, shoot. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, instead what I'll do is... Go back here. It's time to do everything that we've learned. Okay. Can I... No, I cannot. I want some music. Because there are a few tricks that we've learned. There are a few tricks that we've learned and I think it's time we execute them. We, there are four total tricks we have learned. Oh, 
Oh, can I not? No. Okay. Whatever. We cannot. That is unfortunate. But I guess we'll just sit here. We'll sit here in this menu and then we will deal with all the things we've done. Card Shark was a great game, I guess, before we get into it. Card Shark was a great game. Uh, you know, a lot of fun mini games is manipulation, but now that I'm doing things with with a deck, like, it's very clear to see that, like, you know, people who were making the game knew what they were doing in terms of card tricks and card tricks, card manipulation, and whatnot. And it's very fun to see them do. And yeah, and this little demonstration showed that, you know, you could you can learn from this game. You could you could genuinely learn from this game if you're observant enough. And like the gaps, the spaces, the fingering, it's all there. That's what makes it great. Okay. So, are we ready? Let's do Let's start. Okay, the first one we're going to do. Well, we'll start off like we've always started, the three card Monty. We have a queen and two fives. That's not a queen. When did I ever think that was a queen? Okay, now we will bend the cards upwards because this hurts. This hurts so much. Just so it is easier to pick up, pick up, pick up, and wait, what? Pick up. Okay, very good. So now let's follow this. This is where the cool this is where the king is. We will slide that over. Slide that over. And slide that over. I really kinda want to do the card bending ones too. Well, I mean we did one and it was really cool. The one The blank at two and three. We show them off. This is the king! Ha ha! I am king! Bop! 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 And one, two, and three, four. Flip! That wasn't it, and this isn't it. It was this one, you fool. Very good. That's the first one. We've got this! Okay! Second trick learned. Let's just bend those back. This is shy I'm bending them back. Okay, second trick learned. Well, we had... We had picking a card. We'll pick the Ace of Spades. We will give this, what is it, a four count? Let's see, what count shall we give it? A one count, okay. Well, we'll call it two. We'll call it one other. So we'll put the Ace on top of the deck. We will shuffle it like this. And then pull it like this. In jug. In jug it like this. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And with that, we have in jug card on the bottom. We pull from the deck. And this should be our ace of whatever we pulled. Ace of spades. There we go. That was the second trick we've learned today. Asterisk. First, well, no, it's not the second trick we learned today. The third was this one. First, I need to pull up every ace in the dictionary. Every ace in the dictionary. There we go. And we'll pull out uh, four cards of the same suit. Let's get a two, a two, a two, and a two. Very nice. Okay, we've got twos here, aces here. Which sleeve? Aces went up this sleeve, and the twos were across here. Let's get, uh, you know what, let's move a hefty deck. Just so then there's a bit of heft to it, and I have to put in a bit of effort. It's hard to see in the top right corner, but it's there. Now, we have four cards. We will pick up one, pick up two, pick up two sun, and pick up second. 
Okay, there we go. Put them in my hand. Ooh, what's this? There is something that my right hand needs to pick up and not my left because my left hand is full. Okay, I will go and proceed to pick it up. Pick up. There we go. And now we slide it across and flip them over. Very good. Even though technically I did like a whole bunch of fumbling with that. I forgot what how you hold the things. In fact, you know what? I want to do that again. Let's, hang on. My sleeve. Calm down. Okay, here we go. Let's do that once more. And then we'll move on to our last trick, shall we? Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's see here. We have this. These are our aces. Up sleeve. Up sleeve. Deck there. Deck there. Okay, you ready? My favorite number is the number two. I like it because it is the second number ever. Uh, two, two, two is what I like to wear. And also two. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there's something I need to pick up over there. Okay, the way I'm holding it is... Okay, so that's how I'm holding it. That's actually an interesting position. So I should be having these aces face up. Because that's how it matches my thing. Okay. So now I reach over, grab this, grab this, move this over, slide these out, tuck those in. Aces. That was okay! That was okay! Yeah! Okay, and for our last trick, we've got this. What's the last trick? I yes, I remember. Get the ace's high palm shuffle. We'll get the ace of- no, we're not dealing with the hearts, I'm sorry. Still usable. We'll get the diamonds. We haven't really used diamonds much, I don't think. Ace it- Cards are slippery. Or my palms are just not good. Okay, here we go. We have a set of five cards. Oh, look at that! That isn't that a convenient transition. We got a set of five cards, the ace is in the second. We'll we'll shuffle it so that the ace is on top, and then we will grab that and throw that out. Sleeve. My sleeve just didn't open. There we go. So we'll we'll do this again. Ace is on the third position. Ace is in the third position. There we go. We'll grab the ace, put that on top of the twos, shuffle it in an appropriate manner, and throw these cards out. There we go. Then the game proceeds as usual. We'll put all these twos on top. And then uh, we will put this in. Whoop. And then we will do this. What number shall we do? What number shall we do? Well, two was there, so we'll make it the third slot. So, one. One. Tap. Tap in junk. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, now we grab the deck from the side. There's the Injag card right here. We grab that. Shuffle that. And shuffle, 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 shuffle. And drop this. And now it should be one, two, and three. Nice! <gasps> okay, and that, everyone, is how you do a card trick. That is how you do four card tricks. That was amazing! This was a good stream, it lasted all the way, and is exactly how I wanted it to go. Whew, okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's gonna be it for, well, me. For me and stream. What have we got next on the schedule? What have we got next on the schedule? Well, on the schedule we have got... Tuesday is probably the is very very likely the finale of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. And then we will have what's it? Yeah, and then Thursday I think I will start a new little series, stream series of what's it called? Return of the Oberdin or was it Re Return I feel it's Re Return of the Oberdin. A good like mystery who done it kind of like black I guess technically noir can you say that because it's black and white? 
Well, on a ship. That should be very good. And then Friday. Ooh, what are we doing Friday? I think we'll be doing... Might be Death Road to Canada, maybe. Perhaps. Just a little, nice little one-off. But okay. That's gonna be me and stream. Ah, oh, closing words would be... Well... I don't know if I have closing words. You know, try not to get fooled, I guess. Try not to get fooled. But on an unrelated note, I feel like I, I want to do an encore of three card Monty. Okay, bending the cards back. Bending all the cards. One, two, this hurts. Three, okay, these are all pick upable. I want to do three card Monty once again. So here we go. So something like this, right? Yeah, okay, good. These are pick upable. Okay, so. Are you ready? Keep an eye on the queen. The queen is very important. We got a queen and two threes. So, what we're gonna do now is we are going to pull this queen and put it like that. Get this three and put it like that. And we'll get this last three and we'll put it like that. Okay, now let us pick up these cards. Wait! Okay, and then with that, we will do the shuffling. One, two, three. And we'll do some swapping around. I forgot to reveal the cards, but you know where the queen is, right? Ooh, was it this one? Well, if you were to say that, I think you'd be a little nuts. If you think it's this one, then, well, I would also think you're a little nuts. Because the real queen was right here the whole time. Thanks, Zdot. And that will be stream for me. So, with that, this has been me and stream. This has been really, really fun. Oh, wow, yeah. I've really been putting a lot of my energy into that. And with that, until next.